to another exciting edition of the property show and happy new year today we highlight ideal investment options you can put your money on The accessory spot brings a new outlook with decor tips to spruce up a space. And on the home ownership front, we share experiences and the journey of owning a home. A home is a great thing. It gives you peace, yeah? Many of the times you walk tall, <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you just feel more responsible. Let's interact on our social media handles. I'd love to hear from you. As always, there is something for everyone. This year, we expect emerging markets, price correction, and diversification to shift the sector. Let's get into the property peak of the week with ideal investment options you can put your money on. We kick off with an affordable investment option available in the Vipingo development. This contemporary residential address has a mix of one two and three bedroom apartments, here is what is available in Vipingo. Twelve fifty five Palm Ridge Apartments is an exclusive and affordable residential estate located within the larger Vipingo development, two hundred meters from Awali Estate. The development consists of three hundred and thirty units of one, two, and three bedroom apartments spread across nine blocks with a plinth area of forty five, sixty, and seventy five square meters, respectively. The amenities within the house includes a lounge with an open plan concept, kitchen fitted with a microwave, oven and cooker, a laundry area, master ensuite bedroom in the three bedroom development with inbuilt wardrobes, common cloakroom, internet ready, provisions for air conditioning. Amenities within the estate include ample parking, children play areas and playgrounds, open green parks, a swimming pool, paved roads, street lights, reliable water supply from the Vipingo Development Sea Water Desalination Plant, as well as tight security services from Access Controlled Gate, 24-7 patrol within the estate, as well as CCTV. We shift gears and have a look at another interesting development located in the hotspot Yokimao area. If you're looking for convenience, privacy and space, this is the place for you. Here is what's available here at Artiview. Artiview is located in the upcoming Siokimao. The estate is 3 kilometers from Siokimao Railway Station and just 7 kilometers from Industrial Area and 18 kilometers from Nairobi Central Business District. Athiview Estate is a comprehensive, gated community providing carefree living with personalized facilities. Designed to capture the simple core concepts of practical, 
modern and comfort living. Atheview Estate, where you are assured of space, privacy, quality, security, convenience, and affordability. Accommodation includes spacious living room, comfortable dining room, kitchen, pantry space, Dolby area, visitor's cloakroom, ensuite guest room, two bedrooms with separate bathroom, ensuite master, fitted wardrobes, sanitary fittings, and self-contained domestic quarters. Another contemporary development offering great value, good rental return, suits different stages of life from fast home and if you're looking to upgrade, this is a good option to consider as well as a retirement home. Let's take a look at what's available at Four Points Apartments. Four Points Apartments consists of two and three bedroom units with four penthouses in a gated community. The apartments feature two and three bedroom units, a DSQ in the three bedroom apartments, spacious lounge, dining area, modern open plan fitted kitchens with granite tops, a utility or laundry area adjoining to the kitchen, master ensuite bedroom with built in wardrobes and a balcony area. 24-hour security, a perimeter wall with electric fence, and main water supply supplemented by borehole. Other amenities include carbro paved ways, ample parking slots, to high-speed lifts in the basement and ground floor. Four Points Apartments are a stone throw away from the International Livestock Research Institute offices of Naivasha Road. The apartments can be accessed from either Waiyaki Way or Gong Road. The apartments enjoy shopping amenities that include the Junction Mall and Naivasha Road Mall. Residents at Four Points can also get medical assistance from Mid-Hill and Melchizedek Hospital. Another ideal investment on our listing is Brookside Powell Apartments. This stunning development comes with amenities you can't beat. The project is located in Westlands and is surrounded with convenience of major malls. Let's have a look. Brookside Pearl is a stunning modern development consisting of three, four and six bedroom luxury apartments conveniently located at the most exclusive location of Westlands along Brookside Drive, five minutes away from Westgate Mall and Surrey Shopping Centre. Amenities include a spacious lounge leading to the balcony area with panoramic views of the city, a separate dining space with a fully fitted kitchen with ceramic tiles, an extractor fan, electric oven, gas cooker, microwave oven, double door refrigerator, as well as high quality MDF cupboards, a pantry for extra storage of kitchen supplies, master ensuite bedroom with a balcony, as well as built in wardrobes for storage, a comfortable ensuite DSQ with independent access from main lobby. Salient features include a rooftop swimming pool, fully equipped gym and sauna, children's playground, high-speed elevators, solar water heater, TV and internet connectivity, CCTV, video entry access controls, as well as 24-hour security service, backup generator to common areas, borehole for constant supply of water, two car parking spaces power apartment, as well as visitors' parking spaces. Our 
Our next investment option you can put your money on is located in the fast-growing Kitengela town. This beautifully designed development offers location, 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 affordability and comfort. Welcome to Kitengela Terraces. Kitengela Terraces is a development designed ideally for exclusive and comfortable living and comprises of 40 exquisite two-bedroom apartments set amidst tranquil environment in Milimani area, Kitengela, with the access road right opposite the Nairobi Women's Hospital. Accommodation includes lounge with balcony, large windows bringing natural light, dining area, open plan kitchen with granite worktops, Dobie area, state-of-the-art finishes with attention to detail, visitors cloakroom and master bedroom ensuite. Salient features include perimeter wall with electric fencing and a guardhouse, ample parking space and adequate visitors parking, cabro paved walkways, solar water heating and boho. Finally, my shoot location, Waiyaki Ridge Gardens. These apartments come with modern features for the contemporary lifestyle. They are located along the fast-growing Waiyaki Way, just a few minutes' drive from the Westlands Business Hub. If you're looking for an ideal investment here at Waiyaki Ridge Gardens, you are assured of high return on investment and long-term tenants. Let's take a look. Located along Waiyaki Way, Waiyaki Ridge Gardens are two- and three-bedroom apartments 200 meters off Waiyaki Way. The apartments feature large open-plan living area, spacious well-fitted kitchen, and ensuite master bedroom. The amenities include six high-speed lifts, backup generators, playground, electric fence, 24-7 CCTV surveillance, and borehole. The apartments are in close proximity to Kianda School and Nairobi School. The development has easy access to Westlands with amenities such as the Mall, Westgate Mall and Sarit Centre. property show in 2020 we have purpose to turn plots into dream homes cost effectively with our turnkey construction solution upscale homes the cherry on top is to enable you to construct efficiently and hassle free with different architectural designs to pick from a consortium of professionals across the spectrum and 100 percent financial solution with a leading bank Upscale Homes Budget Solution is a wholesome solution. All you need to have is a plot, and the next time you visit that plot, it's a home. So I would say it is designed to work for uh, working people, people who have a, an 8 to 5 job or even longer. It's designed for people who do not have the skill in knowing what a quality house looks like. And why I say that is because we have lined up or a consortium of consultants who would be able to do everything, right from the designing of your house, to doing the bills of quantities, to the construction itself, uh, to doing the inspections to confirm quality until the time you, your house is ready for occupation. The other thing you'll find with Upscale Homes uh, Budget Solution is that 
There are several typical designs that uh, anyone who is interested in uh, developing a house can choose from. The designs are modern, they are relevant for the day and, and they are designed really to suit uh, a modern young family and all you have to do then, you don't have to go and look for an architect, you come uh, to us. The consortium of financials that we are working with, we have banks, several banks and we also have circles. So, you know, the conversation with the circles or with the banks will be, can they provide you the full construction uh, cost? And then what is the method of disbursement of that money? A lot of times we envisage a situation where the financier would disburse the money as the construction goes on. So uh, based on uh, milestones in terms of the, 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 the construction progress. Now once the financing is locked, whether it is cash that you have already or you have a financier who's agreed to fund, fund the project, then the next thing is about you break ground. We have an engineer, we have an architect, we have a QS. The whole team is there. So the architect would then play the role of the project manager. Uh, you will agree with the architect um, on site visits and, and those sort of things. You'll also agree on who will be the contractor because again we have a panel of contractors who've already signed up with the upscale. So you sign the construction contract and then the construction begins. We think that the construction life is about a year. About a year you should have a home provided that of course the financing is in place. So we are looking to work with uh, busy people uh, who probably only have a Saturday where they can come and inspect to see how far the construction has gone. We are looking to work with people who have not previously handled construction because if um, you've listened to construction stories, they are not the easiest. Uh, conversations to have. Sometimes you could have um, underestimation in terms of the, the quantities and therefore cost overruns. But here we've already um, you know, experimented and worked out the design so we know the price that should enable us achieve uh, that cost. Now why we're able to be very certain about price is because we have arrangements with the various providers of construction materials where price is already locked. So we're not looking to walk into a shop and today a bag of cement is maybe 700 shillings and tomorrow it's 900 shillings. No, the prices are already locked at the point where we sign with the contract. a plot we are ready to jump start that journey and build that dream home come on board and let's begin that home ownership journey together we're taking a short break still ahead the accessory spot with tips on how to achieve that refined look in your space plus first-hand home ownership experiences stay with us we'll be right back after the break Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Are you looking to transform your living space with something as simple as an accent wall or colorful lighting? Next, tips on how to add a fresh feel to your home. With a new year, you may want to revamp your home for a fresh feel. Why not try adding a pop of color? Whether you need to tone down a color or add a bold color to liven up your space, color is great for changing the overall feel of a room. Add molding. If your walls are bare, consider adding molding to the baseboard, chair rail, or ceiling for a pop of art.
Another way to spruce up your home is to hang unique art pieces on the walls. Ensure the art you select is the right size and scale for the wall you're decorating for the perfect outcome. Update old fixtures. Knobs, handles, drawer pulls, and light switch plates are small but very important details in your home. Replacing these fixtures is a sure way to give your home a high-end sheen. Add visual space with a mirror. Large mirrors will reflect the room back, making it appear more spacious, even twice its actual size. A floor-length mirror or a wall mirror will do the trick just right. Add area rugs to your floors. Area rugs transform a space by grounding furniture, defining rooms, and adding more interest to an area. Patterned rugs are an ideal way to spruce up your home in this new decade. Another way to transform your home is by incorporating statement pieces. Incorporate a statement chandelier in your living room dining area and hallway to add an element of luxury to your space. You may also reshuffle your furniture. Changing the furniture arrangement is a simple way to transform your living space and tailor a room to your personal needs. Ensure your arrangement creates more space and functionality. Lastly, swap out your throw pillows. Whether you buy them or make your own, throw pillows offer an easy way to accessorize and brighten a room. Replace old pillows with bright, fuller pillows to give your room a new look. Are you stuck wondering how to spruce up your space? Here at The Property Show, we work with a team of interior designers and they would be delighted to work with you wherever you are. We all know the road to home ownership comes with its fair share of ups and downs. But guess what? With the right information, proper planning and working with professionals always gives you a peace of mind. Next, first-hand experiences from homeowners. About 10 years ago, when I started feeling I needed to own a home and uh, I started making moves that enabled me to actually make the step and I worked for a bank and uh, they give you mortgage facilities as a staff member. Uh, I think my, my, my biggest challenge was raising the deposit, the 10% deposit. Let's go back. How did you identify the house and what, what did you see in that house? Oh, I think m at the time I was driven by the price. It is what I could afford from my salary. Mm -hmm. Now when I reflect back, I think that shouldn't have been the driver. It, I should have been driven by what do I really need, not by what I can afford. Yeah. So that if I was to do it again, that, that's what I would, uh, I would review that because I, I was driven by what can I afford. So I got some old, an, an old house. Uh, so the biggest challenge I had was raising the deposit, stamp duty. Stamp duty was twice. Because you pay the stamp duty on the value, and then you pay stamp duty on the mortgage. Wow. And then value as fees. Legal fees. Legal fees. I think there was also commitment fees. Yes, there's yes, commitment fees. there's commitment fees. So how did you raise that? Uh, I was lucky at the time. I think I had sold a car. Mm -hmm. So I had the money. Mm -hmm. that, so I used the, the deposit from the car to pay for the deposit. After I got my mortgage, I lost my job. So you moved into your new house and then you lost your job. I lost my job. Uh -huh. When I lost my job, I was not able to raise the monies to, 
to pay off the mortgage, so I was auctioned. So one day you got a letter, had you talked to the bank, had you tried to negotiate that? Yes, I did. I went to the bank, I tried to negotiate, I didn't have the money, but such is life. Auctioneers are also made for people. Yeah. Why didn't you try and sell it off private treaty? I did, but I didn't get a buyer Good within the, 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 the oh. duration that is given. Uh, is, it, is it the 90 days that you're given to, yes. to either repay or bring somebody who can buy it off? It was an experience. I went for the auction myself. Uh -huh. I sat there. Uh -huh. I, I, I had the hammer. Uh -huh. And all that whole process, I was, I was involved. It was such an experience. So uh, the home ownership journey, I have been involved from the beginning all the way to the end. Mine is not a happy story, but it's the truth. It's the truth and you learn from it. Yeah, you learn from it. So what would you do differently today? What would I do differently? First is I would, I would plan better. I would plan better. I would uh, know where my deposits are coming from, where is my mortgage coming from, and then I would, the loan, I would repay it quicker. Yeah. Okay. I know that we have some viewers who maybe right now, they've gotten the auctioneer letter, they've gotten the 90-day notice. What would you advise them to do? Because I know that when you get that letter, First of all, you get into a shock. Yes. So yes. you don't think through things. Yes. But I'm sure there is a solution and there is a way out other than the hammer. What would you advise them? First and foremost is uh, it's not the end of the world. It's mm. not the end of the world. Then number two, walk to the bank, negotiate. Banks, institutions are run by individuals. They are run by people. Go and talk to them. See, how, what can you get? How can, can they give you a moratorium? What can they do for you? And then you speak to Nancy to help you sell it. Yes, yes as quickly as possible. Yes. But more importantly, because it has got psychological impact. People get affected, you go into a depression and things like those. It's not the end of the world, wow. even if you're auctioned. Wow. Yeah. So you moved out after the auction? Yes. At what point did you actually go and pick your things and move out? Or did they auction plus your furniture? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, way before. Uh -huh. Once you get the notice letter, you start preparing yourself. Okay. Yeah. But there are people who refuse to move. Then that then becomes a, a rigorous process. It becomes an embarrassing process for you. Because if you don't have the money, you don't have the money. Yeah. Hi, Maureen. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you so much for having us in your home. Thank you. Welcome in. Asante Sana. Yes. You locate this place. Uh, I learned uh, to get to know about Delta Plains mm -hmm. through property agents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did you pick this house? I picked it mm -hmm. because when I entered in, I found the environment really nice, quiet, peaceful, up on a hill. So for me, it was a unique kind of a location. And how long have you been here? For the last two years. Wow. Yes. wow. I love your security and the greenery. Thank you very much indeed, to the point. Yes. Let's have some tea. Thank you. Nancy, welcome to my kitchen. Oh. It's one of the best areas I love about this house. It's spacious and the white. Your home is very homely. I'm also a very homely person. I also. know, I yes. know. So let's make some tea. Yes. How long did it take you to find this house? Uh, it took me about a year. Uh -huh. I was all over this city. Uh -huh. Did you see many, many houses? Ideally, every weekend, I would ensure that I have an appointment with some property agent or a friend, oh, uh -huh. or maybe learn from the newspapers. I made sure I journeyed. You went round and round. I went round and round. And isn't this too far from town? It is. But what I love about this place is it's quiet. Mm -hmm. The environment is excellent. Security. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The greenery. Mm -hmm. Up on a hill. A lot of fresh air. So, and I don't see a lot of estates coming around here. So it really, it's a great place. It's One great. of the things I'm finding recently is that people buy homes. Then we have challenges with... Uh, 
service charge are people paying service charge some people don't pay service charge so sooner or later the property starts just deteriorating yeah service charge is not easy mm-hmm. you really have to commit yourself but uh, from what I know about Delta Plain, it's not like I go into the accounting, mm-hmm. but the way they do take care of the estate itself tells me that my neighbors pay. pay and pay the service, service charge actually works. Yes. How did you tackle finances? Because I know that's one of the biggest challenges people buying their first home. Really, I recall the first year when I was going all over looking for a house. I would ensure that at this very same time I save money for my stamp duty. You know all those initial charges, the hidden charges, the hidden charges as before you get into wanting to get a mortgage. So all that. So it was a lot of savings that you have to do to prepare yourself psychologically and financially. Yeah, so that you didn't co- get caught up. What considerations should one make when they are looking to buy a house in terms of? They need to have good savings for the deposit. They need money for the hidden charges. What else should they look out for? From my experience, I only wish I started earlier. Mm-hmm. Some of the considerations is for one to begin early enough, probably straight from school, really? straight from college. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because that's where how our saving plans work better. Because mm-hmm. years fly and money doesn't come by easily. Mm-hmm. And then you don't buy the first house that you come across. You really must take your time because a home is like your entire lifetime. So finding time and not doing things in a hurry will really help you make the right decision. And picking the lawyers, picking the valuers. That you can inquire from friends Mm -hmm. and and those who've undergone the same experience. Mm -hmm. Because you can't just speak anything from anywhere. Otherwise you'll be picking things from the air. Yeah, so you speak to the guys who've been there before. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you the pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now that you own a home, what would you say that makes you so happy? Uh, owning a home is a great thing. It gives you peace. Yeah. Many of the times you walk tall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you just feel more responsible. <laughs> so I would encourage every Kenyan, if and when they can, mm-hmm. they would uh, take time and uh, seize on any opportunity that comes their way. at the property show would be delighted to highlight your home ownership journey as you inspire aspiring home owners next a snapshot of other investments available in the market the property gallery Eagle Parlour Apartments are located in Ruaka Shopping Centre, 20 minutes drive from Westlands and a few minutes drive from UN headquarters in Gigiri. Their development is also in close proximity to the Two Rivers Mall. The apartments include executively styled two- and three-bedroom modern units with a plinth area of 97 square metres and 110 square metres consecutively. Accommodation features include well-planned and oriented living room area, spacious lounge, dining area with access to an outdoor covered patio, fully fitted kitchen with granite worktop, spacious balcony, two bedrooms with a common cloakroom, master ensuite bedroom with a walk-in closet. Salient features include boundary wall and multi-zoned electric fence for 24-hour security, a guardhouse, ample parking, backup generator, borehole and underground water tank, swimming pool, gym and children's play area. The prices for the two and three bedroom apartments are 8.5 million Kenya shillings and 10.5 million Kenya shillings consecutively. The expected rental return in the neighborhood starts from 65,000 Kenya shillings. The expected completion date is June 2020.
Parkwood Villas are modern townhouses located on Wanainchi Road off Mombasa Road in Siokimau. These modern townhouses comprise of 94 four-bedroom units plus DSQ with a plinth area of 274 square meters. The detail and craftsmanship throughout includes floor-to-ceiling vibrancy with full-height aluminium windows to allow maximum natural light. Accommodation features include spacious living room and dining area on the ground floor, fully fitted open plan kitchen units, three bedrooms all en suite on the first floor, a full floor master en suite on the second floor giving a serene escape, European chrome brassiere finishes in all bathrooms and self-contained DSQ. Salient features include solar for water heating and backup power, a landscaped private garden, separate retreat area, kids playing area, private parking for two cars. The price for the villas is 17 million Kenya shillings and the anticipated rental return is 100,000 Kenya shillings. Royal Gates is a gated community located in Acacia, four kilometers from Kitangela town. This development consists of 78 four-bedroom detached townhouses. Amenities include a spacious lounge with a separate dining area, modern kitchen fitted with quality appliances and ample storage space, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, an ensuite guest bedroom, two additional bedrooms with a common bathroom, internet-ready houses, as well as a centralized TV port. Other features include detached ensuite DSQ with ample wash area, two parking slots per house, a swimming pool, a fully equipped gym, borehole and wastewater recycling system, private gardens, children's playground, CCTV cameras, electric fence and perimeter walls for security, street lighting, solar power and cabra paved driveway. The expected completion date of the first phase is March next year and the second phase is expected to be complete by March 2021. Avenue, we have properties in every price range and would be happy to arrange private viewing too. Thank you for watching The Property Show. Next week, we'll be highlighting the counties that are set to be the top investment hubs. Let's keep this conversation going on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri! <laughs> <laughs>